very first thing that you need to know is my father was an, a United States Army guy. <laughs> he was also an entrepreneur as well as he worked in corporate America as management. Because of his upbringing in the career choices that he chose, he thought that I needed to get up all the time. <laughs> and you know when you're a kid, you just wanna sleep, eat, and watch cartoons. Now, he had no problem with me doing those three things. However, he also wanted me to get up at five, six, seven in the morning and do chores and clean and meditate and take care of myself and take care of things around the house and take care of my chores, take care of my responsibilities. Saturday sleeping in, that, that wasn't really an option. I could sleep in until about nine and that was it. I had to be up. <laughs> I had to get up and I had to do life. And although I used to hate that as a kid, now as an adult, I'm really grateful for that experience. Another reason I really like getting up in the morning is because I grew up as an athlete. I ran track in high school, I played football in high school, I played football in Pee Wee, I walked on to my college football team, and then I played three years of arena football. One thing about sports is for whatever reason, these coaches love practicing in the morning. <laughs> I don't know why, but they do, okay? Now, when you go to college and high school, typically in season, your practices will be for anywhere from like two to 6 p.m. Usually, you know, right after everyone gets out of school. However, if you have a weightlifting program, if you have a conditioning program, if it's spring football, if it's summer football, they want you there before the sun rises. <laughs> I had almost a decade of my life, 10 plus years, of getting up early, walking to school, riding a bike, catching a bus to get to school, to get to the gym, to get to conditioning, to get there and practice. And what I realized about doing that was working out in the morning almost gives me what I feel like is a head start to my day. From the competitive side of me, I feel like I'm getting better than my opponent, whoever, keep in mind I got the athlete's mindset. So. Whoever my opponent is, I feel like I'm getting better because I'm willing to get up, put work into my body, invest into my body, invest into my mental health, which is also your physical health too. Doing that just gave me such a, uh, a like a like a victor feeling. It made me feel like a, a warrior, like I'm I'm ready for a battle. I've worked out today. If you can't tell, I just left the gym actually. I'm making this video in the morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning. And I'm just really excited. Like my energy is really good. I'm really excited. And I really feel like it's because I went to the gym. Another reason why I really love getting up in the morning is because I like eating breakfast. You know, I tried intermittent fasting for a while. And if you don't know about intermittent fasting, it's basically you're gonna eat within a certain window. So let's say 12 to eight or you know 10 to 6 you eat within a smaller window and the purpose of doing that is to help you burn more fat because you're fasting for the eight hours while you sleep and then you have about eight waking hours where you uh are fasting typically like four in the morning and four at four at the uh, evening i tried intermittent fasting and for me personally and i think it's because i've been conditioned to eat breakfast you know intermittent fasting did not work for me it, it caused me to be very moody. I also would, I, I would have the experience where, you know, if I didn't eat breakfast, then I would eat like lunch or dinner and I would overeat. I would eat more than I needed to because I was so hungry that I'm going into the meal just eating like a caveman. I like to eat breakfast uh, because I, first of all, I love breakfast foods. Like my favorite breakfast pretty much, like if I could only have one breakfast forever, simple. I would do the, the American staple. I just give me give me a cup of oatmeal. Um, if I could put some raisins in it, that's perfect. But if not, I can eat oatmeal plain. Um, give me a cup of oatmeal. Give me two or three scrambled eggs. If I could put some cheese on there, <laughs> that'd be perfect. But if I can't put cheese on there, that's okay too. Uh, and then just give me, you know, some another another type of protein. Um, I'm okay with bacon, or it could be uh, turkey bacon. It could be Canadian bacon. It could be like a chicken sausage. It could be any of that stuff. Give me that and a cup of water, and I'm good to go. Um, if I'm doing really good on my diet and I'm okay with the sugar, give me some orange juice. <laughs> but. I typically don't drink orange juice too much for the reasons that I just named. It's just a lot of sugar in there. Breakfast for me is also, it's like a spiritual thing. It's like a, it's like a, uh, 
a cleansing of the day. It's like a start of the day. It's like you're setting your intention for the day. So for me, the optimal day will be work, wake up, get my workout in, get some breakfast in, and then by about nine o'clock, I'm starting my business day. Now, I'm an entrepreneur. You know, I don't work nine to five per se, but the nine to five schedule offers a great deal of structure for me. So I'll work from about nine to 12. The reason I work from nine to 12 is if I start working at nine, like by about 12 o'clock mentally, I'll need a break. I'll need a, I'll just take, I'll need a mental break to come out of my work and to come and, and, and to just, you know, just center myself. Then at 12, maybe 12 to two or 12 to three, just take a break and just do whatever comes in my mind. Maybe watch uh, some ESPN, see what's going on with, in the sports world. Maybe watch some highlights from, from last night. I love basketball, I love football. I check in on baseball from time to time. Um, I'm not a big fan of MMA, I'm a big fan of boxing, but I will look and see, you know, I'll just go look at sports. A lot of people watch talk shows. I like sports, so I'll look up sports, as well as I love using YouTube to learn different things. So I'll, I'll research different things like how to use this camera, how to do this transition, you know. Uh, if you type how to in on YouTube, it's like a whole rabbit hole of things, which is probably how you found me. <laughs> so the last reason I have for you why I like getting up in the morning is because I love my social life and I love interacting with people. And what I realized as an entrepreneur, what was happening for me is I was doing, I used to do all my work at night and I would be slaying up till four or five in the morning and then I would wake up at two or three in the afternoon and I would start my day from there. So then I would start, I would do my gym, I would do my workout, and then I would do lunch. <laughs> uh, but what was happening, what was happening for me was I didn't have a social life because everybody else worked, you know, nine to five. So here I am, this entrepreneur, but my social life sucked. And I believe that there has to be, at least for me, there has to be a balance. I don't wanna be one of those people who all I do is work, all I do is grind, all I do is focus on building this, creating this, making money, doing this project, doing this job. I understand that we all need money. I understand that money is a part of our lives, but I don't, I, I don't wanna obsess over it. I don't wanna make my life about money. I wanna make my life about things that make me happy. And honestly, my last and final point is that getting up in the morning just makes me happy. It makes me feel accomplished. It makes me feel motivated. It makes me feel inspired. It makes me feel like I have purpose. It makes me have breakfast. And if you share breakfast with other people, that could be such a spiritual thing and it can impact the social aspect of it. So if you're one of those people who you're wondering, hey, should I get up earlier? I think you should at least try it. You should at least try to get up earlier because at night, what are you really doing anyways? You're typically binge watching Netflix. You're typically playing video games. You're typically eating a bunch of food that's no good for you. As your friend and as someone who wants to encourage you to build habits that uplift you and that keep your keeps your energy right, I would encourage you to go to bed at night if you're not doing anything productive and get you a full eight hours of sleep because that's what all the doctors seem to recommend, that's what all the studies seem to recommend, and wake up feeling refreshed. Now, I will say this, people who work late, you're gonna ask how. I think that if you work late, if you have a schedule, I just think that you should be mindful of when you get off, and you should know that you're getting off at, let's say, two in the morning, you work at the bar, restaurant, you're getting off at two or three. As often as possible, just go home with the intention of, okay, I'm gonna wind down on my drive home, and when I get home, I'm just gonna shower and go to bed or whatever whatever routine you have. Um, because, you know, because you work at night, you're not necessarily uh, able to set that intention of, I'm gonna get up early. But what you can do is set the intention of, I'm gonna go to sleep as soon as I get home, and I'm gonna get eight hours of unbothered attention. Unless you got kids, that might not happen. <laughs> My friends, I really, really, really hope that not only you get what you need in life, but I hope you got what you needed out of this video. My name is Sylvester McNutt III. I'm a best-selling author of seven books. Uh, if you don't really know what I do and you found me for the first time here, hit that subscribe button. I post a podcast every single Sunday. And with the podcast, we talk about different topics around self-love, healing, awareness, just ways that we can self-develop and grow ourselves as a conscious community here. And as well as I make posts on Instagram and I tweet three or four times a day. So connect with me. My, my username is Sylvester McNutt and that is my real name. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys get everything you deserve. Your energy is already free.
free your energy, my friend. Free your 